Hey you guys! My name is Tracy from Tracy's Fancy. I've got my link at the top of the page um, where you can shop the new paint colors which we've used right here behind us. Oh my gosh! D ignore the candle holders on top of the Amar. These are two of the new colors. This is called French Linen and it is amazing. This is it right here. So one 16 ounce jar covered in one coat all of the surface including this whole side and it, the coverage is amazing. I don't even need to do a second coat and I won't do a second coat. So um, we're talking about using this other new color which the link also goes straight to and it's called Antebellum Blue. It's a gorgeous Mediterranean deep, very natural looking blue. I absolutely love it. Y'all had talked about doing French linen and then letting it sort of do a rain wash that, you know, I do a lot of that rain wash with a lot of the water um, down into the antebellum blue on the bottom. It will not be a hard line and it's not a color blend y'all. Um, it's not a blended look, but it is a gradual look, but it's a very organic look. But I was thinking about maybe instead of taking it down into antebellum blue, taking it down into gravel road. So let me show you gravel road. So gravel road is not a new color, but it is the darkest of the grays. And it has sort of a brown, you know, grays come from like some grays come from blue, some grays come from black, some grays come from brown. So this is a, their gravel road comes from a brown tone, but it's gray um, and it's pretty dark, pretty natural. Very, very on point with what's here, but just a darker shade. Okay, so these are the three colors together. So let's start with this. Actually, we'll start with this and then we'll go to this because you have to kind of, when you do this, you kind of have to have your colors laid out. And, um, and then you start adding your water and they sort of wash down on top of it. Now, if you don't have your colors laid out just right and you change your mind, it's only paint. It's no big deal. You just blot it up, you let it dry, and you put on a different color. I've had Mr. Bottles forever now, but this is one of the new Mr. Bottles from Dixie Belle. Did y'all know they have these on the website now? They sent me one. They sent me one to try and use and I love it. It really works really well. And then right now I am using either... Um, my flat, medium, or my minis are what I'm going to use. So those are my favorite brushes. So this is one I'm using. I'm going to use a different brush for each color. All right, so I am going to do something sort of at um, an unexpected, I call it organic when it's not balanced, um, level. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm only going to, I only want this blue to be uh, down here in one corner. That's what I am imagining. So I'm taking my Mr. Bottle and I go ahead and I spray my piece pretty good, not a lot, but pretty good. And I'm gonna get my paint and my brush. I usually go ahead and mist my brush a little bit as well. Can y'all see me? So I'm misting my brush a little bit. And then I'm just gonna dip in and I am gonna start just painting. So it's just gonna be a pop. It's very wet. This process that I'm doing right now is a very wet and messy process. So wherever you're doing this, expect a lot of runoff. Make sure you have a tarp. Now the thing about doing this sort of look is that you're never going to have a pure color. It's, it's never going to just look like antebellum blue. In the end, it's just going to be part of the layer of the paint. We're going to end up seeing French linen. We're going to end up seeing gravel road. We're going to see all the colors. Okay, so that's that. Lots of blue, looks good. There we go, just one little corner, okay? So I'm gonna keep this as my antebellum blue brush. I'm gonna set that aside. And now I'm gonna open up my gravel road. Uh, shaking this up. And now I'm gonna come around from the top and bring it down and I'm gonna go with gravel road. So let's start, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna do this right now. I don't want to have any of this really running off onto the antebellum blue yet. I mean, I'm not gonna worry about it. And I do go ahead and close up the line here between the two of them. At first, see, this was really hard for me to learn to paint like this, y'all. I This was very difficult. It was hard, but I love it now. I mean, it's there's no, you don't have to be nervous. You know, you don't have to feel rushed. You, it, it's so freeing. You really should try it. You really should try to just pick a piece of furniture and th literally start throwing some color down on it. Now, Wow, the gravel road with the antebellum blue looks really good where they meet, where they're coming together here. So real quick, we're gonna do a little bit of blending. It's not blending, I'm sorry, I call it blending. We're gonna blend with water. 
um, and it's far less than perfect. So here we go, I've got my antebellum blue brush. I just spray it, get it nice and wet. Still got my uh, gravel road brush. So I'm gonna get it a little bit wet here, with a little bit of the paint, and start just really adding some water to it. There we go. And then the blue color down below it, I want that there to be enough of that that they can kind of start marrying. Um, and you just really gotta soak it. And you have to let it sit for just a minute because that paint has to be reactivated. So you let it reactivate and you just soften the edge with the paint, you, I mean with the water. And I mean, it's dripping, it'll start dripping. You just soften that edge, just like that. You want it to soften down. I don't want any hard edge left. Now, how do I soften the edge up there? I'm gonna end up doing the same thing up top um, I'll go back up in here and I'll re-wet this and I'll bring some French linen in back above it wet. I'll spray it and I'll paint French linen again and spray it again and it'll start blending down into this. So do you see what's happening right here? Now it looks pretty drippy, right? And I know some of you don't really like the drippy look. I love it, but I don't want it, if you don't want it super drippy like this, um, let's see if I can get you in here even closer. If you don't want it really, really drippy, then you just take your water bottle and you just spray it again. You just keep spraying that. And you can kind of, you can send it, look at that. You can send it over there if you want. You can send it this way. You can spray real hard and you can get French linen to come back through. You want me to bring through, bring through some French linen, like right here, do you see this? Let's bring French linen back through. You see that coming through? That's French linen. Who needs distressing, right? That's French linen. So I call this blending with a bottle. It's painting with a bottle. You don't need vinegar, you don't need wax, you don't need sandpaper. If you are willing to go with this very organic look, you just need a water bottle when it comes to Dixie Belle paint. You don't need all these special, fancy prep work techniques. Just get it wet. <laughs> It'll do its thing. It just does its thing. This, this you can get right here at Dixie Bell. You can get it right on the Dixie Bell page. It is easy. You just have to do it and anyone can do it. I promise. So again, y'all, my link, if I have inspired you to try this and you do not have Dixie Bell paints on hand, I cannot tell you how it works with another paint. I can't because I didn't start this process until this last year when I was already with Dixie Bell. So it's the only product that I've ever tried to use this right, this right here on. Uh, if you follow my link over, it takes you to the new colors, which we're using, but you can just stay in there and anything that you look at and shop and buy um, after you follow my link, I get like a little thank you kickback and I really, really appreciate that y'all so much. So thank y'all. I appreciate y'all being here. We'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.